Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for repair. I asked Big Boss to remove the back cover only. Most Asus laptops I'm able to fix without having to disassemble the whole board. And this one is model number, let me check quick. Model number GU503Z. Let's read what the customer wrote. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. The laptop doesn't power on, doesn't show a sign of power with the AC adapter brick connected. It appears to be a problem that I have seen repeatedly repaired on your YouTube channel. Let's see what's going on with this one. Rotate the board. We have the DC connector right here. That's where the charger plugs in. And then we have some power MOSFETs right here, current sense resistor. I asked Big Boss not to disassemble anything because most issues I can find from the side of the board. We do not have to take the board out. Why spend more time taking the board out? Let's start by measuring this current sense resistor for a short meter in diode mode. And are we going to hear a beep? or no beep, continuous beep or not a continuous beep. My meter is off, just a second. Now look at this, at that short, wow. Three laptops a day, all of them came in with a short circuit and this one has a short circuit as well. And people always ask, should I buy an Asus laptop? Which laptop do you recommend? None. They all fail. If you want to buy an MSI, it will fail. Asus will fail. Lenovo will fail. Which laptop does not fail? It doesn't exist. If you want to protect yourself, buy warranty. The maximum warranty that you can because your laptop will fail. What do we do when we have a short circuit? We're going to inject voltage. Mailman came in to pick up. I don't know if they need my help or... All right, so we're going to use the NF that short voltage injection tool. And we can set voltage at... 1.4 we're gonna inject we're gonna inject voltage at the current sense resistor and monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot let me tell you where everything is the dc connector is right here ram cpu then you have the gpu right here and a lot of thermal paste. Okay, so let's inject voltage, one, two, and three. And we're gonna monitor the board, and I already see something hot. And I see something hot at the beginning of the board. Usually it's the V-core circuit, or somewhere next to the RAM area. Weird, I see something at the very beginning of the board. That's the charging connector right here. And right next to the charging connector, I see something hot. Right there. Let's go back to the microscope. And let's see what's here. Oh, I already see it. I already see it. Do you see what I see? I already see it. Which one? Let me know. Top one or bottom one? The top cap 
or the bottom cap. I see one damaged capacitor. Right there. This cap is likely what's causing the short. Let me grab our hot tweezers. Remove the cap and hopefully that will release the short. The cap is out and stuck. Meter on. And do we have a short? We do not have a short anymore. Say hello to the bad guy. And now you can say goodbye. I'm using the NF.mini soldering pen. If you're a hobbyist or in the same type of business, you can purchase that pen off our site along with all the other tools that we use on our bench here. Everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal camera, power supply, voltage injection tool, original Amtec Flux, Braidwick. Just add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Perfect. We are done. All we have to do is power on the laptop and watch for that logo, right? Let me connect the battery. I do not know if the battery is charged or if we need to plug this laptop in, but we're going to find that. Battery connector is plugged in. Screen connector is plugged in. And I think... I think the battery is dead. That's what I think. Okay, let's plug it in. Who needs big bus, right? I have my own cable. I do see the lights, the keyboard backlight, but we want to see something on the screen. And the laptop went back off, and that's probably because we do not have the fans and heatsink installed on the back. That happened to me before. So we do need Big Boss. He needs to reassemble the heatsink and fans, and I'll be back to finish the video. All right, Big Boss just reassembled the fans and heatsink right here. And let's see. He did not try it. Plug the charging cable. And will the laptop power on? I mean, it's going to power up with the keyboard backlight, but we want to see something on the screen. Yes. Yes. Wow. We did it. What I want to do is wait like 30 seconds or a minute, and then I'm going to disconnect the cable to see if the battery is taking a charge. Maybe we can do it now. Disconnect. Yes. Yes. Done. And the battery is empty. But it did take a charge. And we're done. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.